So with his recent appearance in 1090, many people have made the assumption that Luffy is scared of Kizaru. Even though he's a Yonko and Kizaru is an Admiral. I'm not here to explain why the Admirals are above the Yonko and why Kizaru stomps, but I'm also not here to say, this makes absolutely no sense. I just want to lay out the current scaling of where the Admiral is and why he could be above Luffy. I think it's important to start off by saying that Kizaru is not the fastest in the verse. Yes, he moves at the speed of light and his powers are light, but that doesn't mean there aren't characters who are faster than him. Rayleigh not only keeps up with him in a duel, but he also says that in his prime, Kizaru would have been a piece of cake. Then we have characters who are confirmed more powerful than Kizaru overall. So yes, you can move faster than light in One Piece, Kizaru included, since he can hang with these characters. There's nothing that says that LS is his peak. Even so, with Borsalino being an admiral of the navy, he's still insanely OP. As we know, the admirals are above most commanders in the series, with Kizaru being able to shrug off attacks from Marco, who's not the strongest commander, but we'll get to that. Speaking of Marineford though, the admirals in this instance are holding back, but Whitebeard and the rest of the Yonko are shown to be in a higher tier of power, including Luffy. Luffy beats Kaido, who, along with Big Mom, are stated to be equal to or above the three admirals at Marineford. This would place Big Mom above the weakest of the three, that being Kizaru. Other characters that would beat him by this logic would be Yamato, Odin, Zoro, and all the other main top tiers. Now, Kizaru is stated to be the fastest out of the original three. Some people like to say that he would blitz and overpower the other two. However, he probably doesn't have the AP to do that. Plus, Akainu and Ao are narratively portrayed to be stronger. Lastly, Ben Beckman did halt Kizaru in the war. People like to call Kizaru a fraud for this, but not only could Ben be as strong as Shanks, plus the Admiral just continues the attack as if nothing happened. That whole interaction is very weird. Overall though, in my interpretation, Kizaru is a top tier, just not a Yonko Slayer or anything like that. However, there is a second interpretation that could actually be valid since Luffy is seemingly scared of Kizaru. I'm referring, of course, to the Admirals being above the Yonko. I know that sounds crazy to some of you coming from me, but just hear it out for a second. If we only take into account the manga, there are multiple instances of Whitebeard and the Admirals being on the same tier. Not only does Akainu clash and block Quake attacks from White multiple times, but Kizaru and Aokiji get the upper hand on him multiple times. In the original material, Whitebeard catches Akainu off guard and hits him with an island destroying attack. This attack is not one where White is holding back by the way. However, the Admiral survives and it's only really the anime that makes him look like a fraud. Some might bring up the Shanks thing, as if Sakazuki is going full speed to kill Kobe. So Shanks blitzing him isn't really that crazy. In the same breath, Blackbeard with his newly acquired devil fruit, along with his entire crew, ran away from basically just a Kainu. Since the admirals are all relative to each other, you can apply these feats loosely to Kizaru, but that's not to say he doesn't have any showings. A different interpretation of the Rayleigh fight lines up with the admirals being above the Yonko. Garb calls Rayleigh a legend in the same sentence as Whitebeard. Kizaru was beating Rayleigh in just a sword fight, not even spamming blast or kicks like he usually does. So if you really think that Rayleigh is an Emperor tier character, then these feats would be consistent. You can even flip the Ben Beckman thing on its head and say that Kizaru is not afraid of an opponent with equal stature to Shanks. And then we have him wanting to intercept slash fight Kaido and Big Mom. Most fans take this as exaggeration on his part, however it lines up with all the evidence I've shown. There are multiple different feats that I can bring up in favor and in disservice to the admirals, but you get what I'm saying. Kizaru can be more powerful than a Yonko at this point. It's not really that outlandish to say, but Luffy could literally be talking about Saturn in this instance, and Kizaru could be a fraud. Bye.